Hi you guys. Today is Friday, July 14th, 2023 and it is 5:31 p.m. here in Texas as I'm starting this reading. This is for the collective. This reading is for you, for whoever chose to click on this reading. It doesn't matter what sign you are. Um this is your your reading. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so um, take what messages resonate for you and leave the rest. Spirits, what do the viewers of this reading need to know? Viewers of this reading, what do they need to know, spirits? All right, let's see what your tarot cards are today. Today is whenever you're viewing this video. Um, I'm going to read you guys the significant signs that show up in the reading. The first card you have is the Empress, which is Taurus energy. And then you have the Nine of Wands. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. Make sure I got these cards lined up right. You have the Queen of Pentacles. The center card of your reading is the Seven of Cups. And then you have the Tower, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. On the bottom of the deck you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Two of Pentacles here. Okay, right here you have the Page of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on. Because something seems to be hidden here. Why is the Empress here? You have the moon. Something is hidden in the moon energy. It's dark in the moon energy. You can't see everything clearly. You have the Ace of Pentacles. And you have the King of Pentacles. I feel like you're looking at your money here is what I'm seeing and um, it's like you have an idea something that will make you more comfortable um, you have the ace of pentacles next to the moon there's something here that's going to have a lot of potential in your life um, with the Ace of Pentacles, and I'm seeing that you're not seeing it with the moon energy. It's like there's two directions you can go here. There's a domesticated dog, and there is a wild dog. The energy is here. There's two dogs, and feeling like you're not really sure which direction to go in I see you here being very very tired with the nine of wands energy maybe even feeling exhausted this is the wounded warrior why is the nine of wands here You have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. There's something that you want to do, but you're not doing it. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. 
there's there's something here that is really really bothering you with the seven of wands and you're trying to ignore it it's like you're staying in your own bubble here but this energy is not going anywhere there's a lot of wands here pointing at you so even though you choose to ignore it with the two of swords you're not making a decision you're blindfolding yourself you're holding back with the four of pentacles there's still this idea but i feel like you're very very tired here with the nine of wands i feel like you've walked a long ways you've come a long ways but there's something specific here that um feels like you just can't get it done it feels like you you know you do it and 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 it just never gets done this could be something in your life that is just one of those things that you need to do every day but it's I feel like you were and now you're you're not wanting to face it anymore I feel like you feel like this weight doesn't belong to you you have the five of pentacles see there's the seven of wands it brings you sadness But you're trying to stay hidden behind a door because there, there's something on the other side of this door with the five of pentacles that I feel like you know what's there. There's something that you need to face, but you're in this bubble again. I'm seeing you in this bubble and it's, it's something on your mind that is really, really bothering you. And You have the eight of, eight of Wands here, I'm sorry. So it's going from the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands. So I feel like this energy is getting stronger with the Eight of Wands. And I mean, it's something that you need to do, I feel like. But there's this procrastination here. And this may have something to do with your home, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Do not pay attention to the gender on the cards. It's the meaning and the energy of the cards that I'm reading for you. But I'm feeling like this has something to do with your home or something about your stability. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You're very, very strong and I just see you here just getting worn out you know and you're wanting to back away from it the hierophant is here taurus energy again but you could be any sign pisces cancer energy is there with the moon and the six of cups for some of you this has something to do with a child or someone that you have a commitment with someone that you have history with here is behind that door and maybe they they do something that you need to go and take care of because you are the magician here you're the one who makes things happen in this home and um the hierophant is here so this is a commitment like your values it's something that you refuse to walk away from but you're like maybe taking a few days off or something and then you have the seven of cups i'm actually even seeing you looking at different options what else can i do to you know to take this out of my life what i i'm not seeing a person i'm seeing some type of responsibility here it's like you're feeling stuck. I even see a snake here. With all of this to do, you know, where do I even begin? 
and I feel like for some of you you feel like this is just building up and building up and getting worse as you're closed in this bubble why is the seven of cups here so you're trying to you're trying to figure out different options here because there's someone here that you have a lot of love for I mean this this person has your heart, your complete heart. The Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But you're feeling confused and you don't know how to fix this problem. I'm almost feeling like someone in your life has some type of an issue or some type of a problem that you go back and you, you pick up the mess, you pick up the responsibility here and you're very tired with the four of swords so i'm seeing you setting your heart aside and just taking a break taking a rest but this doesn't really even give you a rest because it's constantly on your mind things are building up things are getting worse you while well, you're doing this well you're like i'm just going to put my heart to the side I just can't keep up with this anymore. And then you have a tower happening. So something completely out of the ordinary is... Because we're dealing with the ordinary up until this point. Something's about ready to happen. There is like lightning striking out of nowhere, out of the blue, out of a clear blue sky. Why is the tower here? You have the nine of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. And you have the six of swords. Yeah, so you're supposed to be working with someone here. Because you have the Three of Pentacles. There's one or a couple other people that you're supposed to be working with. But there's something toxic attached to this energy. Something where you feel stuck. But I do see the Six of Wands here. So this is victory success. You're going to... You're going to be successful, you know, with whatever this is, even though I'm seeing you, you know, you're just kind of wanting to give yourself a peace of mind here with the Six of Swords and moving someplace. I want to say moving, but maybe this is just in your mind or some of you are physically moving You've got a suitcase in your hand here and it's raining and it just doesn't feel right to move away from it because it's still going to be there and it's growing and it's getting bigger. But something here is going to change and it's going to be huge, okay, with the, with the Wheel of Fortune here. And it has to do with you backing off and paying attention to yourself with the nine of pentacles energy it's like you choosing to to invest in something else but this is still here and so i don't know let's see what spirits say why is this nine of pentacles here Okay, that's a lot but as you see right here even the ten of wands you've been carrying this for a long time now it's reached a 10 and it's breaking your back and I keep feeling like it's getting worse you have the star here so this tower is actually a wish fulfillment you may be thinking right now the worst because this is building up as days or time or hours go by but something here is about ready to to break free to free you and this is something 
good. It's not something bad. It's something that you've wished for that seems like an impossible wish. You having to juggle and try to keep up with everything here on your own. I think I told you this is Aquarius energy, the star. And then you have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and you have the Lovers. Okay, let's see what the Knight of Wands is talking about here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Two of Cups. The King of Swords. The Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands fell out here. These two fell out together, the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. And let me remind you, do not attach a gender to the cards. This could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that you're dealing with or someone that has that in their chart. This is someone that you love. I also feel like this person's very stubborn, all right, and they want things their way. And so they could even make this working with them even more difficult but this is someone that has your heart here and I'm seeing it's almost like someone else is coming into your energy here because we're clarifying the knight of wands and this is a king of swords it's someone who's very wise I see an owl here eyes wide opened and it's someone new taking your hand here and this person's a very good thinker. This person comes up with really good ideas. But the next card you have, and this is Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. The next card you have here, this, this doesn't even have to be someone new. This could already be someone in your circle, someone that you know I see come up, coming up with a good idea. But the thing is, is I see you in the Seven of Swords energy where you keep this information to yourself. It's a secret that you keep. It's a difficulty that you've carried over time and a secret that you keep. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Judgment. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Like I said, for some of you, this is a child that we're talking about here. We have the Page of Cups. That's not for everyone, but there's, there's something here where I'm feeling like you keep investing in over time. This could be someone that you know that you are what is the word I always forget this word you're being codependent you're you're being an enabler all right over time you've been an enabler and I feel like you feel like when when pigs fly will I ever be able to release myself from this energy. I'm too deep into the ground here. I'm too deep. And it's just growing. Um, but I'm seeing you being released somehow. I mean, you have judgment now. So I feel like, I'm feeling like, even though I'm saying this is being an, an, an enabler, in your mind, the way that you're looking at this, this is someone that you love, someone that you care about. This is something that you're doing from the heart. And I feel like it's just gone on for so long that it's hard to pull yourself away from it now. But if you, if you look at judgment here, it's almost like you're releasing yourself. 
I'm feeling like something's going to happen here because I'm seeing like help because I feel like you need help but you, you're keeping it to yourself so how can you get help if you keep it to yourself if this is a secret why is judgment here This is a, another wish fulfillment happening here with the Nine of Cups. I'm seeing you, you know, coming up with an idea here. But I'm not sure what that is yet until we get to the end of the reading. But um, I'm seeing your wish fulfillment being granted. You may even pray about this with judgment showing up here. Because I just feel like you've reached the end of your rope. And then you have the lovers right here. Why are the lovers here? Which is Gemini energy. The Eight of Cups. The Queen of Wands. And the Devil. Capricorn energy. I'm seeing you going from waiting for something to happen with the Three of Wands to the Four of Wands. All right, so some type of celebration here. This could be a new home or something that helps fix this problem because I'm seeing you being able to walk away from this that you're making a choice here to walk away. And the reason this is, is because I'm seeing an energy coming in that you've waited for. And I'm seeing a celebration here with the Four of Wands. There's, there's something here that you've waited for because you've been feeling stuck in the devil energy. But you're walking away from it now. And I'm seeing you rising up. Like holding your wand up in the air and being very confident and successful in some type of a plan. Because I do see a plan in the makings in the beginning of this reading. Um, let's see. Let's clarify what what happens here. Because I'm seeing you being, come, being very successful in this juggling act. And there's some type of ascending in your mind space. There's like a staircase here. And this juggling act and trying to keep up to the point to where you're just so exhausted. You just have to step back and stand away from it. I'm seeing it coming to an end here in this reading. Why is the Ace of Swords here? I mean, I feel like there's a plan here that has been in the makings. And it's going to be, this plan is going to work out better than what you realize. You know, because you, I saw you looking at options. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this, this is something that is heartbreaking to you. This energy with the Three of Swords. And I'm seeing here that you felt stuck. This is Pisces energy. You have felt stuck. And um, now, and I mean, I even see sadness here with the Five of Cups. You feel sad. You feel like maybe I did the wrong thing, you know. And this bothers you. It just keeps squawking in your ear with the Five of Swords. You know, I've let this go too far to the point where I cannot keep up any longer. And this energy showing up here with the Six of Cups. This is someone that you, you have history with. You have love for this person. And you're showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles again. This is... Uh, 
the energy of a mother, whether you're male or female, this is someone that you give to, that you take care of, you know. But the, this has just gone too far. I feel like in your mind you thought you were helping this person when this whole thing began. But you were actually enabling them and it just kept building up and building up and getting worse and getting worse. And to the point where you're involved so deep into this energy that it is, it's just something you can't do anymore. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Divine has heard your prayers. And the Three of Cups. The Divine has heard your prayers. And I, I'm seeing again you breaking free with the Nine of Pentacles here. And, um... You're going to succeed, all right? Because this juggling act, I feel like you, you you chose a plan because you've been looking at different options here. And I actually see the snake like slithering away, that devil energy like slithering away. And the divine has heard your prayers with the Ace of Cups. And I'm seeing you celebrating here with, um, a couple other people here beside you and looking up at the stars and I mean being free being blessed feeling the freedom uh, the person that you're dealing with that you have all of this love for I'm seeing this energy covering that that person too it's a very, very beautiful energy. This plan that you've come up with that is in the beginnings. Um, it was almost like as if you were playing chess. I mean, look at you holding a chess piece. The Emperor. This is Aries energy. This is you taking control of this very difficult situation that's been going on. And you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I'm seeing you feeling much better and being able to get to work on what you need to get to work on because there's a separate energy of something here that you independently want to work on for yourself and this will free this, this, up, this space in your mind up so that this energy flourishes. All right, so you guys, um, I'm going to get some advice here from the universe. But I do feel like there's like some type of an option or a plan. There's something in your mind, you know, that, that I feel like you're working on. Or that is just the beginnings of a plan. Because there's many options here. There's a lot of confusion and adjustments are required third quarter moon you could have to put some work into this plan but it's going to work out for you see a personal issue reaches resolution full moon and cancer and i want you guys to ask your angels and your guides a question and choose an angel answer card number one number two or number three and um choose more than one card because this is a general reading and sometimes i will flip that card over that you chose and you'll know instinctively immediately this is not mine all right so you do have a, two cards at least that you're choosing between so go ahead and keep that second in your mind if you chose number one, your angels are telling you to look for a sign. If you chose number two, let go. If you chose number three, communicate clearly. All right, so these are the messages that are coming through in the tarot for you today. 
Um, I really hope this helps because it feels like there's a p personal issue here that you've been dealing with for quite some time and battling and it's something that you keep to yourself and your spirits are telling you it's going to be okay but there are some adjustments that will re be required here all right i love you guys thank you for being here with me thank you for taking the time to hit like and subscribing to the channel and i will see you guys later namaste